Welcome back viewers. You join us for day two of midweek e-bike madness. Yesterday was e-rimby and today is e-waramu. Or I suppose you call it emu. Emus? Oh, that's pretty crazy. I'll tell you what, compared to e-rimba, emu is about as smooth as a trail made out of those flushable baby bum wipes. And by the look of the berm back here, back to there, the trail builders have been here improving stuff. Oh. This track's always so quick. Last time I rode here was the maiden voyage with the Cheddar Shredder. Oh, man. The only thing with this trail is you have to remember to breathe. Alright, down the bottom. Let's see if anything's new down here. Well, I think I just saw a sneaky gap. I'm going to have to push back up. Have a look at that. In the words of the separate national champion, just just go a bit quicker. All right, so there's a new chicane gap. We push back up. I had a couple of little practice runs, and um, it doesn't seem too bad. I've got Neil behind me, and he's going to try it for the first time. I had a couple of practice attempts, and it doesn't seem too bad. Albeit, you need to go a little bit slower than I am normally going. So we're going to try it on a fully and see how it goes. That didn't go well. Did bone stick around my arm? No. Look at him. Fuck. You snap your brake lever. Mate, I'm just. Oh, man. The next day. Welcome back viewers, you join me for some redemption. I've returned bravely, courageously to Waramu after yesterday's, well, quite simple disaster. The trail builders have put in a new little gap through the rock chicane at the bottom. And we gave it a bit of a practice and it didn't go well. Now I just want to make one thing clear, despite yesterday's disaster, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the jump. It is built perfectly and it's positioned quite well. What happened yesterday is we just rode very, very poorly. Which quite simply begs the question. If there's nothing wrong with the jump, and if I rode it well, is it actually faster? Because, well, it's straighter, and straighter is shorter, and shorter technically is faster. But, for us average riders, you need to manage your speed coming into it. So I feel like the approach is slower. But then, the exit does feel very, very fast. So, is the squeeze worth the juice? Oh, hang on, no. Is the juice worth the squeeze? So I've come here to find out. Alright, that felt pretty good. 
there's probably more speed in it than that, but that's as about as quick as I'm comfortable. It goes without saying, the, uh, the advanced riders will probably gap straight to the bottom. But that's, that's about all us average riders have. Let's have a look at them side by side, see what's quicker. Alright, that felt pretty good.